own, right, is enough to keep me, you know, joyful for a long time. But add on the music, um, add on the response that I've been getting, the people are saying that, like, I'm genuinely helping them in their lives during this pandemic means the world to me, dude. Because, like you said, no, one, I've never, I didn't even know. Like, when this first started happening, I was like, this will be over in, like, a week. Yeah. And it's yeah. been a lot of weeks so, since then. So, um, keeping busy is really important. And I'm also grateful for it because, like, I've gotten to learn a lot about myself. You know what I mean? And it's helped my music and my uh, artistry a lot as well. Um, so, but it's also exciting because I know after the pandemic, we're about to tear some shit up, you know, when we get out of here and we're about to go to concerts and I'm about to bring back real performances, hopefully. Like, right. I'm hoping this time next year, going to a Jaden concert will be like everyone's number one bucket list, right? Like, that's what I want it to be. I want people to hear about it and be like, yo, that's a life changing experience. I got to go get that done. So I'm doing everything I can do right now to prepare for that next year. Well, dude, I feel like as soon as this pandemic comes to Memphis, you're going to perform for us, and we're going to get you some of these good-ass Memphis bar. Absolutely, dude, bro. Ain't nobody know about that barbecue, like, out there. It's all I'm saying. You, you, I, get uh, man, I get it. I get it. Like I said, it's kind of pretty quick and everything. And one of the people you've been working with, too, is Travis Barker, man. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Blink-182. I kid you not, dude. Two weeks ago, I got a Blink-182 tattoo. Hey, that is mad. <laughs> Hold on, put that up. I'm going to screenshot that. <laughs> That's mad tough. Yo, Travis is going to love that. I'm going to show him that. I'm going to show That's him that. I, I, I love him. And then when I, I found this, like, your style of music, man, it, it's, it's so cool because it's like, it's like a pop punk slash rap, but it's what's hitting right now. Yeah. And I mean, explain a little bit to whoever people who don't know this, how you and Travis got hooked up, by the way. So I released my first single. You know, it's really funny because I'm so glad that, that this is happening. Um, everything's kind of like falling like, together like a puzzle because when I first came out with music, I wanted to do rock music, but I didn't. I knew rock music was never going to be like it was back in like the 70s or the 80s. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to be the same as much as it would be amazing to just because of everything with like social media and everything. It's just not going to be the same. And so. I made my first rock song really active rock, like really, really, like if you heard it, you'd think that you're listening to like Five Finger Death Punch or something almost. Okay. And uh, that's that's the kind of the vibe I was going for because I knew if I did that as my first single, that's kind of how people would start would see me off the bat instead of seeing me as like a rap or pop artist first and then moving into rock. So I really wanted to put that landmark there, and I, that's what Travis noticed. So he his son showed him the song. Um, literally the day I released it. And then my producer that I made it with also sent him the song because they briefly knew each other. And um, he, he tells everyone, like, it was like two parts, uh, opposite parts of his life colliding and telling him about uh, me and my music. And so he, he thought that it was just like kismet and it was meant to be. Um, so he hit us up. And after I met with every record label, I went and had dinner with him. And that's when I knew. I was like, bro, this guy... This guy's different than everyone else, so I, I got to be with him. So we made that decision, and ever since then, bro, every time we get in the studio, we'll make, like, two songs. He's just, like, a big bro. He's a dad. He's a, a legend producer, legend rock star, killer drummer. Yeah. He's, he's everything in one. So it's just been a great journey so far. Man, I, I've been around this music business for a couple of years, man. I've met really cool artists and stuff. I've met that uh, I'm, I'm, I definitely would like to meet that dude someday because everything you just said. You know, yeah, dude. I hope you, you know. No, it's real, and it's like everyone thinks I'm like you know. People cap a little bit, like people exaggerate and shit, like quite a little bit sometimes for most things. But I, I, I feel like I don't say enough because when you're around Travis, dude, you just feel like the energy. It's crazy. He's like, he out of anyone in the world, he has the most to brag about. Like out of anything, like if you just right. know his life, he has the most to brag about. But he's so humble. But on top of that, he's not like weak. You know what I'm saying? He walks around like, like he's a he's like a skinny little thing, but you think he's like a beast, bro? Because like he just walks around like a stud. So he's yeah yeah. You definitely got to meet meet him. We'll drive out. He doesn't fly anymore because of you know what happened. Um, right. I would totally understand. But we'll we'll drive out there one day. We'll get him on the road. Let me tell you we'll something. Meet him. Like two years ago, I'm sitting there. We had this huge festival here called the uh, Beale Street Music Fest. Tons of different artists. I see this cat. He's like six four, skinny, blonde headed dude, covered in tats. I yeah. go over to him. It's your boy, Machine Gun Kelly. Yes, he sir. Starts playing all the small things. I lose it because yeah. I, dude is a rapper. Next yeah. thing you, 
boom, he's got this. Recently, he's got this album. And all of a sudden, you worked with the dude on So What, which is a fantastic yeah. song, man. Explain about that. Dude, it was crazy because, um, like, during that week, MGK's dad actually passed. And so it was a really, like, emotional time for him. But this just spoke to so much of, like, his honor and kind of, like, respect for music is – he was in the studio really writing and like pouring his heart out. And then he uh, came by the music set, even amidst all of that. And he was like, sorry if I'm down, bro. Like, listen to hum how humble this guy is. Like, he showed up to my music video. Like, he's MGK, right? Like, I'm yeah. just like this new kid. Like, obviously, I have Travis in my corner. But I'm still like, I don't have any, not as much as MGK going for me. He shows up. He was like, bro, like, I'm so glad that you let me come to your thing. Like, I really, I'm sorry if my emotions are off, though. Like, um, I, I just went through this really hard time, so I don't want you to think that this is, like, my first impression. And I was like, are you kidding me, dude? Like, you have every right in the world to act how you want to act, but you're still going to, like, apologize for it? Like, you're a G, bro. So he, he like, happily just wanted to be in the music video, and we're about to make some crazy music. And so uh, he's just an awesome guy, bro. And yeah, he's tall as hell, too. <laughs> I, I got a picture with him, and I was like, man, you might have to get in the, Nah, he was super nah. cool. Um, yeah, he's dope. But I'll tell you this, too. Like, I love that style. Like what he's bringing to it, and of course when he was working with Young Blood, would you ever maybe want to work with Young Blood as well? Oh my gosh, yes, bro. We're trying to bring like I'm telling you, Travis tells me this all the time. So that this is why I say it. This is why I believe it because Travis tells me. But like me, him, Ian, and Dom, uh, Young Blood are about to like start this new like wave. Almost like we, it's not gonna be Warp Tour, but it's gonna be like you know how groundbreaking warp tour was for like just like the music industry it's going to be like another wave of something like that we want to create like our new genre a new like whole big thing is like a group it's going to be fantastic and, and travis is really stoked about it and he's like behind the scenes or in the front with everybody on each person's stuff so it's just been awesome well let me tell you something i'm, I'm real proud of you too man because like i said that style i grew up on rancid Blink -Blink. yeah I mean, you know, Operation Ivy, that's my jam, you know? Yeah. But up in Memphis with, like, rap music, too, you know? Yes, exactly. It, 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 it hits me really good. Check it out, man. I had some of our listeners, um, they knew we're interviewing you, and you're watching it right now. Um, they wrote some questions. Do you mind if you answer a few of them? That's Absolutely. cool. Absolutely. Let's hit it. All right, check it out. Stephanie out in Bartlett. She said that since you're tight with Travis Barker, now Travis is tight with Post Malone. Are we going to see maybe a little Post Malone, Jaden collab action? <laughs> Dude, that's, that would be, like... If I'm trying to think of a scenario, what that would be like. Um, but yeah, my hopeful answer is yes. I was trying to create like an analogy of something cool, but I couldn't do it off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, I want to, <laughs> dude, I want to do something with Post Malone. Like he's, he's a, he's a legend himself. So um, I think, I think we'll get there in the, in the very near upcoming future where a lot of people um, are going to be collaborating. You know, I'm honored to do it with anybody, you know, whoever it is, but I think that'd be a really cool fit. Yeah, for sure. I was saying, man, you're be rocking and rolling with these heavy hitters, so you might yeah. as well fall on there, you know? Yeah, let's hit it for sure. You dig that? Check it out. Amber, she wants to know, do you run your own social media? And if you do, what do you like best? Yeah, I do. Sometimes I wish I didn't run my own social media. But, uh, yeah, I do. Um, best part about it, dude, is just getting to see the response from my fans. Like, I use Twitter a lot, um, and that's kind of like a direct, almost like instantaneous uh, contact to – a lot of my really like hardcore fans right um, so that's really cool uh, i just like getting to see like the excitement from everybody you know what i'm saying honestly just blessed that this many people care about what i'm doing um but I, i'm grateful for it because i care about what they're doing too you know what i'm saying yeah. that's that's why i do all this so yes i do run my own social media Brittany wants to know of course uh you're gonna be watching the shows while we're in the house like dude what are you watching like on we streaming online and stuff like that I, <laughs> if academy is one of those it's so funny, dude. I uh, I don't really do much, man. Like, I, if I'm not working out or if I'm not, like, making music, I really try to stay off, like, technology as much as possible. Really? Yeah, that? dude. I, uh, I just, I don't know, man. I found myself becoming more and more, I'll just be straight up honest, like, the past year, like, when I really dove into social media, found myself more and more conceited, found myself more and more, you know, or less and less grateful for things when I was just constantly always looking for something new online. So I just, anytime I can, I get off my phone. I don't, I don't watch TV. Uh, I don't watch like the only thing I do if I watch anything is like late at night, I have the entire uh, family guy downloaded on my computer. 
But, like, that's all I watch is uh, Family Guy. I might play Fortnite with my friend, but I only play Fortnite if it's with my friend just because I love relationships, bro. Like, I love talking with people. Like, I'd much rather be doing this, honestly, than watching right. TV. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, my, and people consider this work. And I'm like, nah, dude, I'm just, I just love talking to people. So I don't, really, I don't watch much. I don't, I don't get on, on technology that much. Uh, Christina, she wants to know, are you a sports guy? And if you are, who's your team? I see you wearing oh, a <laughs> Absolutely. I, I thought I was really scared today if I was wearing this because people think that I have, like, uh, ties to this, but I don't. It's just a dope hat. So just sure, forget, forget that's there. No, nah, dude, I, I grew up in Texas, so I'm a big Dallas fan. Um, anything that has to do with Texas, I really rep. You know what I'm saying? Tennessee, I tried to get on the way for a little bit, but then they just suck. So I was like, ah, <laughs> never mind. I was like, it's it's not as fun when they when they lose all the time. So. <laughs> hey, get real. I, I feel like I'm a Texas guy when it comes to my scores. Get my really? rock bros, all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Yes, sir. But, man, hey, uh, I just want to appreciate you uh, coming on with us real quick, man. You know, cause Thank you, dude. Going on out there. But uh, good luck with everything, too. And, and, and like I said, I think you're on to something. And the style and what you're bringing – is something that people haven't heard before when it hits that, that it's like a wave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, dude, I'm 40 years old, brother. I everything y'all do. So, I mean, like I said, I'm, yeah, brother. I'm saying so. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for letting me come on today, man. It means a lot. Hey, man, do you mind if we get like a picture real quick? We'll yeah, share. absolutely. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, hopefully the thing doesn't uh, cut you off, but uh, All right. let me see. All right, man. On three, let's see, three. Two, one. Perfect, man. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Hey, thank you. Anytime you're in town in Memphis, man, we're going to hit that barbecue. We'll see some shows. Let's just cook it up, boy. Let's get it. Let's All go. Thanks. Thanks, All right. Man. Blessings, bro. Have a great one, man. You too. Thanks, dude.